No, 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 no. There's no, um, there's no overt hypnosis in the show as, uh, at all. I, I sort of use hypnotic techniques sometimes mm. um, covertly, but uh, I kind of made that decision not to, not to include hypnosis. In yeah, it. you must. I mean, obviously you must work with the team, but uh, mm. like any other production. But do you come up with most of these yourself? I, I would have thought it's absolutely. You must have a very kind of fertile and agile brain because I mean, you know, you, you come up with so many different scenarios, and you have to be happy with them, obviously, or else it wouldn't work. Sure, absolutely. I probably bring about 80% of the ideas to the discussion, and then it's just me and a couple of mates. We just sit and laugh and be stupid for a few months and come up with, come up with mm. the show and try and rehearse these ideas as much as, as, much as we can. But I probably... Uh, yeah, because I have to feel that it's me. It has to be something uncomfortable doing. Sometimes it comes from an idea that I've got, and I know, oh, I, you know, I can... A, a principle that I find out that I can do, and, mm. and part of the, the discussion, you know, through that we come up with some great way of doing it. Or sometimes it comes from, wouldn't it be great if... You know, you could go yeah. to X and do Y, and it comes from that. It's loads of fun. Uh, well, how did it all start for you? I, I know you've told us this before, but actually I've forgotten. How, how, when did you realise that you, you could do this thing? <clears throat> I started off as a hypnotist uh, at university, mm. and I just fell in love with it, just decided yeah. that's, that's what I would do. And, um, but if you're going to be a stage hypnotist, it can get a bit tacky, and I didn't really want to be a hypnotherapist because, frankly, I found it a bit boring listening <laughs> to people's problems every day. Um, so I ended up... Uh, doing these these hypnosis shows where I could explain about how it worked and so on, but at the same time getting into close-up magic, mm. which I then loved and did for years and years. But mm. it was always the psychology of it that interested me more, and just tried to bring in the the, the suggestion techniques from the hypnosis and a whole lot of other weird things I was getting into. Well, into what I think what you do is uh, what, just watching you. You're very still and you're very focused, um, and I think the uh, you, you share mm. that with Paul McKenna because I've noticed him when he's talking to you. I mean, you, you, you know, he really does make total eye contact and, and no real extraneous movements. And I notice that when, when you're with people mm. on screen, mm. you're very, very focused. It's still. It, yeah. A lot of it is about, um, is about that, is about focus and really engaging Central. people so that every little move or every little thing that you do do, every apparent little slip or whatever, does, does have the effect you want to do. Well, yeah. I'd like to spring something on you now. You know this is live, obviously, right? Yes. And last a couple of times ago you were on, um, you did the, the pound coin trick where you, I don't know how you did it, but every single time Judy and I did that and held our hands up, you said it's in the left hand and it was always <coughs> on the left or the right and we just couldn't fi fix you. And I thought afterwards, maybe he did hypnotise us a bit. So, cold, we haven't spoken to you before the show, but we're doing that, okay? Just once. Happy? Just once. Just once. Okay, can I, put, can I put some... Have you done it already? Yeah. Can, I, can I put some money on it? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. I always think it makes it more fun. All I don't right. know what I've got. You can have whatever I've got in my pocket, which is 50 quid, which is what I bet. Okay. I do this every night on stage. All right, All 50 right. quid. All okay. right. Okay. Which hands are there? Okay, hang on. Don't, don't start looking at hands. And now keep your eyes open, else I can't do it. All right, I will ask you, is it in this hand? Is it in this hand? I okay. want you to say yes both times. Can you okay. do that? Yeah. All right, so just say yes both. So in other words, once you'll be lying and once you'll be telling the truth. I so say, try not to give away which is which. Just say okay. yes both times. Is it in this hand? Yes. Is it in this hand? Yes. No, you're really good at this then. Um, this is more difficult than last time. But I'm, in a way, being ready for it helps because I kind of, if I know what's coming, I can uh, do little things to try. I, either I don't know, or you haven't got it in either, you haven't got it in either hand, have you? <laughs> you? Right, don't do that to me. Are you 50 quid? <laughs> you meanie. No, he plays tricks on. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. <laughs> How the hell did you read that? God. All right. Listen, um, Brilliant. Let's, well done. Well let's, done. in the brief <coughs> amount of time we've got left, let's talk a bit about your next project, which is the seance. What are you hoping to learn from it? What are you hoping uh, we'll learn from it? Um, what a meanie he is. Uh, I know he is a meanie. <laughs> no, oh. And I should thank you both. So I've been on here a few times now. You're absolutely delightful. Thanks no. ever so much. You're very supportive. and uh, I love that. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Um, from, this, from the seance, hmm. mm -hmm. um, I'm very sceptical about the claims of spiritualism, right. um, but I love all those sort of old techniques the Victorian mediums used to used to get up to. I, I love all that. I find it really interesting, and I guess I wanted to see to what extent those those sorts of techniques that they use would work in in modern times. Because we're all you know we're all apparently very you know we're all sort of a, we don't believe in ghosts and uh, we're cynical of religion and all the things that we're supposed to be. But I you know I, I just kind of think we're just as prone to those things as we ever have been. So. The idea is to see to what extent they can work with a modern sceptical right. audience. Well, I can't wait to see it. Well, um, how long before we, we see it on television? It'll be at the end of May, May the 31st, right yep. after the series finishes. It's, it's interactive. The idea is to involve people at home in it as well. Right. Um, and just, just, just very briefly, you're on in the West End in June, aren't you? Yes, June the 7th at the Palace Theatre, the okay. West End run. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sorry about that. <laughs>